Hello everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Sword and Shield and we have just arrived in town! After fighting with a very furious Dynamax Pokemon out front, oh look at that really cool Charizard poster! That's no doubt the same Charizard that Leon has! We've approached the very first huge town. Look at this place! This is so cool! There's advertisements for curry and there's advertisements for bikes. That's adorable. This is my Mincino. Very cute. Mincino likes things neat and tidy. It'll brush away any dust with its tail. I guess giving a kid a Mincino would be a great way to encourage them to like clean up after themselves, that's for sure. The Pokemon Center! <gasps> hey, over here! Real ace of you to make it through the wild area. Seems like your trek uh, seems like your trek ran you your Pokemon ragged though. You should probably pop into the Pokemon Center. Besides, there's something in there I'll bet you'll get a kick out of. If you're a real trainer and all. Thanks, Sonya. <gasps> Look at her little yamper! Oh, it looked like the it looks like the Rotom Spree. Rotom are a kind of Rotom information. Rotomi are a kind of Rotom information service. It's a handy machine for trainers. You can even use one to customize your league card. Why don't you try playing around with your league card a bit, Siri? Here's a sample for you. Oh, this is Leon's league card. Wait, do you get like league cards that you could actually collect just like some people used to have baseball cards and things like that? <gasps> you do! Show off your achievements by making a league card. You can customize your card using the card maker found at every Pokemon Center. Doing so will, uh, uh, will also update your card with all your latest information. Trainers all have their own league cards, and you can swap cards with other trainers that you can connect with using com uh, the communication feature. You can view all the league cards you've collected by checking out your album. That's so much fun! But Motostoke, it sure is a big, sure is big, right? Not to worry, Sonya is here to show you around a bit. Come find me after you heal up your Pokemon. Oh, this is so exciting! We're gonna go on a little tour! Oh, the opening ceremony, huh? I get a bit worked up when I think how exciting and moving it was to actually stand on a stadium's pitch for the first time. Oh, I wonder if her little Yamper had some fun, like, in the competition, the sportsy competition of battle. Alright, let's go ahead and rest everybody up. Because I've been thinking about it, and I mean, not all competition has to be hyper-aggressive and bad. And I get the feeling that, for the most part, there we go. Let's heal up some of our other team. Let's swap out the... Oh, there's our league cards! But I get the feeling like, you know, people who get into sports, people would be like, that's so weird to like run yourself ragged and to like push yourself and challenge yourself to the point of pain sometimes. And I think what it's all about is that same sense of personal triumph and challenge that sports offers. And that's kind of what Pokemon battles can be for some of the Pokemon. So I'm beginning to feel comfortable with accepting that. We can catch Pokemon up to level 20. Pokemon of up to level 20 will listen to us. Okay, good to know. Uh, and then we have our card code. And I can flip the card? <gasps> that's cute! Okay, I could definitely want to try- Oh look, we have Leon's card! <laughs> that's so much fun! Okay, that's really cute. Let's go ahead and come on over. And we will, Poke Jobs? Huh? Wait, what? Poke Jobs! Pokemon are in high demand as helpers in the Galar region, and you're able to send your own Pokemon out to help on jobs. The Pokemon you send out will go stronger from the experience they gain. <gasps> That's so cute! The job postings will be updated every day. Good things will begin to happen if you send lots of Pokemons to many jobs, so keep an eye out for new postings and help out as much as you can. There's a new job posting! From Lass, we're looking for normal type Pokemon. Together we can make cloth that you can use any way you like. <gasps> That's so cool! And then you choose Pokemon from your boxes to go and help out? <gasps> you guys! I want to go ahead and have Cinnamon. So Cinnamon is going to go help out because she's normal type. Okay, we'll have to get her out of the party. Alright, let's go ahead and swap some of our Pokemon. 
Because we'll imagine that everybody is resting right now. Okay. And actually, Cinnamon, Eevee, and Mint can go ahead and do this. Because I think that would be a good idea. And then Doveberry is going to stick with me like all the time now. Rook might want to rest for a little while. I, let's go ahead and get Yipper back. Yipper or Yamper, I feel like would want to be in the party. Meowth might want to be with his brother, but he's still kind of weak. We want to get him to at least level 10, so we'll keep him with us. Foxglove, I feel like, ha is having a little bit of a fit because, like, come on, we just had Jim come and join the party, but Foxglove is going to have to put up with it. Uh, I think Jen wants some food, though, so let's go ahead and move Foxglove over because she's pouting. And we'll let Jen get some fresh food, maybe? Or should we get Lily Leaf? To come and yeah, let's get Lily Leaf to come and play with Sobble. Because I'm curious to see like what Lily Leaf will grow into. Okay, are they all actually healed now though? They are! Probably because we went ahead and healed at the box, which is great. Alright, so let's go ahead, check Poke Jobs. That's adorable and fun. We'll get some experience points from this. We get see, so you work with your Pokemon to be able to feed everybody. Cinnamon, you'll go ahead. Mint, you'll go ahead. So Cinnamon, Mint, and Eevee will go off. There we go. And we'll send them to the job site. Half day, very long, long, short, very short, just a little. Oh my gosh, Um, you know what? We'll send them for the whole day. I think that, that they are just eager to kind of get to know each other. Cinnamon and Eevee are very happy. Look at them! That's so cute! So that must be how you have the economy that we've got and we'll have to come back and check on them in a few days that'll be really fun all right let's see read a nickname forget a move remember a name are all my pokemon currently properly named how fun is that all right and i want to see what lily leaf does and we have to take care of meowth he probably misses his brother but he needs to get up some major levels to help out all right do i need to buy anything maybe i feel like oh a heal ball he does not have any Normal balls, does he? Ooh, net balls are expensive. Jeez. All right. No, I'm, I'm good, sir. Thank you. What about him? What does he sell? Ah, normal Pokeballs. Load me up, friend. 20 should be plenty for now, probably. <laughs> Let's get some more heals, though. So some more potions. There we go. And let's grab a couple revives, even though they're very expensive just in case we might need them for something. Uh, and then we'll sell... Where's my rare candy I had? How much do you sell? Oh, look at the rare candy! It sells for so much. The Dynamax candy does not sell. A candy that is packed with energy. When consumed, it will raise the Dynamax level of a single Pokemon by one. A higher level means higher HP when Dynamaxed. Oh, we'll have to give this to our Eevee. That would be so cool. Oh, wow. Oh, and Swift! I totally forgot about Swift! Shoot star-shaped uh, star shaped rays are shot at opposing Pokemon. This attack will never miss. And try attack The user strikes with a simultaneous three-beam attack that may burn, freeze, or paralyze the target. <gasps> Those would be fun. Oh, look at the big pearls we got! And the rare bone! A rare bone that is extremely valuable for the study of Pokemon archaeology. It can be sold for a high price at shops. Nice! Okay, and we have our fishing rod, endorsement, wishing star, camping gear, Pokemon box link. Uh, and, ooh, a lump berry! A berry that to be consumed by Pokemon. If a Pokemon holds one, it can recover from any status condition during battle. That's so cool! And that reminds me, I actually want to go buy more berries. Uh, oh, I probably should speak to these people. The Rotom inside Rotomni are rather fond of the card maker. Oh, that's right, we're supposed to play with the card maker. It's always better to weaken a Pokemon before you try to catch it. For example, you can lower its HP or use moves to put it to sleep or something. Indeed, indeed. Ma'am, how are you? The different shopkeepers sell different things. Who'd have thought when they all look so similar? That's really funny. Say, if you've got a Bunnelby, would you be willing to trade it for my Squivet? I mean, I do actually Dust Bunny. And I do love the... Actually, I wouldn't mind. I feel like Dust Bunny might want to spend some time staying nearby and we're going to be traveling. Oh my, you're going to trade that one? Sure, actually. I think he'd actually be happier staying, like, close by. That makes me feel good for, like, the roleplay aspect of it. And if you're not here for the roleplay, I don't know why you're here. 
Is this gonna be a little boy to go with Jen? <gasps> Cheekers! I will totally accept a little squirrely squirrel named Cheekers. <gasps> oh my gosh! Where's Cheekers? I love the name Cheekers. All right, is this this is Cheekers? <gasps> Tell me about yourself, Cheekers. It is a little boy. Oh, now we have a friend for our Pokemon. <gasps> It's a Dynamax? What? How many of these guys Dynamax? Like, does, does, hang on a second. Where on earth? Jen, do you Dynamax? Jen doesn't Dynamax. Did we, we just got a Dynamaxing Squivet named Cheekers. I love it. Tackle, tail whip, bite, stuffed cheeks. I love this so much. It's mild by nature and proud of its power. That's so cute. I think that it and Jen are gonna be best friends. Maybe maybe make me a bunch of little schwivet babies. That would be adorable. All right, try attack. Can't learn, swift can learn. Should I go ahead and teach swift to Rook? Because I feel like Rook would want to learn it. And I think, how many times, okay, I think that the TM can be used one, like any any number of times. So we could forget Peck, but he, he needs Peck. There's Fury Attack. Swift doesn't miss. Fury Attack. I feel like let's do Swift instead of Fury Attack. Because we'll say that Rook is trying to learn to channel his anger and be a little faster. Less ragey, more fast. I think Sobble is a little unnerved by rage. So he's trying to teach Rook to kind of rein it in a little bit. Okay, yeah, TRs you can only use once, I think. TMs you can use multiple times. All right, what an exciting time. We just got Cheekers. Freaking Dynamax Squivet. I am so happy with that. All right, there's Sonia. So, brilliant young trainer who's braved the wild area. Do you remember what your goal in Motostroke is? Motostroke is? Uh, what? You seriously forgot about the gym challenge opening ceremony? Well, there's so much else I could be doing with my time, like going shopping for berries. By the way, the ceremony tomorrow is being held at the Motostoke Station, okay? Whoa, look at how big the town is! Use that lift over there to get to the stadium, okay? This town's so cool! Well, later, I'm going to swing by the shops while I'm here, but don't forget to register at the stadium, okay? <laughs> I love all the little hearts she decorates with. It's very cute. And actually, you know, she does have a little heart. Like, the, the Yampers have little heart shapes on their butt, don't they? That's adorable. Also, look at you, my dear. Look at all the different watering fountains for the Pokemon. It's wonderful that there's space for Steenie to relax and enjoy itself. In fact, I'm tempted to join it and quench my thirst, too. That is so sweet. And the streets are big enough for an Onyx to go through. I love flower Pokemon! <gasps> I do too, little girl. I always bring flowers home, on special days, or even normal days. My Pokemon loves the scent of flowers so much. Oh, that reminds me! So guys, I figured out story-wise what we're going to be doing with our Cumbi. We're gonna say that our delightful little Cumbi Pansy, whose name I need to change because I, I like the normal spelling of Pansy instead of Pansy with an E like this. But Pansy is not allowed to leave the wild area we just left until we catch a Vespi Queen and gain the permission from the Queen for Pansy to leave its hive and come journeying with us to search out new flower types to take back to the Queen. You guys know how much I love to add those little roleplay twists to everything I do. And I think that that'll be a really fun excuse to not have uh, Pansy with us for now. Kind of like how Ziggy, I feel, is still still a, like one little one who will hide back in the town we came from around Professor Mag Magnolia's place. Uh, we met Try, but I feel like we're gonna meet Try in the future when he wants to beat something up. And Brika, I feel like Brika is just being a sleeping stone at the bottom of Sobble's bucket right now. And Daikon? I feel like Daikon could come into town. Yeah, I kind of want Daikon around in town with us too. Because especially while we're hanging out and checking out what's going on. Rook, I think Rook will rest because he's he's thinking about not being quite so furious. There we go. All right, Daikon, I think you'd be good to come around in town and see what's going on, especially at the flower shop. 
We use the Pokemon move Growth to raise our flowers, so they get rather large. That's so cute! Also, I saw somebody walk by. Whoa, that was cool. You disappeared already. What's going on over here? I see that you're working on a Pokedex. You'll meet lots of different Pokemon if you head to the wild area. What is this? <gasps> I can go inside? Oh my gosh. It's a Pokemon cafe. What? What is this? It's so cute. What on earth are all these? Welcome to the Battle Cafe. You can battle here once a day. If you win, we'll give you a treat on the house. Do you want to battle? I mean, I guess? Okie dokie, let's have a break. Wait. Cafe Master Dwight? Does he like, oh, he sent out a combi. <laughs> he probably has it help gather honey to sweeten all of the, the drinks that he makes. Uh, all right, Doveberry. You're actually really good against this. You guys are both going to be using Gust on each other, ironically. Doveberry used Gust. Holy canoodles, that is much more effective. I think because Doveberry's wings are a lot bigger than Cumbie's wings, <laughs> to say the least. All right, there we go. And down he goes. Easy there, little Cumbie. All right. Oh yeah, Yipper leveled up, and Meowth is almost same level as Eevee. <gasps> Yipper learn boy. I think it's because Yipper wants to just like play with people. He's getting a little nippy. Huh. I hope that battle was a delicate sweet taste for you. Eight hundred, nice. I mean, I'll battle once a day for eight hundred smacks. This was a battle as exquisite as a glass of lemonade. Here's the treat I promised. Is he related to Brewster? I wonder. The old G Gatu. A medicine? The old Gatu. The old chateau's hidden specialty. It can be used to once to heal all status conditions of a Pokemon. Oh, wow. We look forward to your next visit. Wow, that was really cool. Do you sell anything else, friend? Oh, that's so cool. He just like hands out treats. Today's coffee is something special. The Pokemon helping did a good job. Gym leader Kabu is amazing. He's older than my dad, but he's still nowhere near retiring. <laughs> I hope he's still gym leader when it's my turn to do the gym challenge. My friend, he's just obsessed with Mr. Kabu. He even collects Mr. Kabu's late cards. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. This is so cute. Everybody's just chilling and having coffee. If you manage to really shine during the gym challenge, you'll become star of the Galar region. You've seen Leon's cape, right? All those sponsor logos are pretty impressive, but couldn't they come up with a better design? Okay, that's hilarious. Hoot Hoot enjoys bitter flavors just fine, but I've got more of a sweet tooth myself. <gasps> now I feel like Hoot Hoot is related to Blathers from Animal Crossing. This is so precious. I am living in this world, guys, and I love it. So I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy a nice cup of coffee with our Pokemon for just a little bit, and then we will continue exploring the town and getting ready to figure out who would want to go to those gym battles. I'm not really sure, like, Sobble is definitely competitive against Score Bunny and would definitely try to live up to that, but I feel like we have different competitive levels amongst our Pokemon, and I'm gonna have to do some deep thinking about who's going to actually want to be part of our gym battling comp competitive team. Huh. But all right, thank you guys so much for joining me. If you could, do please leave a like for the adorable Pokemon Cafe. And if you would like to follow along on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye